I've wanted to make this video for a very long time. Have you ever played a video game that influenced the way you thought about real life and maybe motivated you to do something you normally wouldn't have? And I don't mean an easy answer like go out and buy a t-shirt for the game you like. Uh, let me give you some examples. I remember the feeling of wearing jeans in the winter and feeling like Nathan Drake during that section in Nepal during Uncharted 2. Pretending birds I saw in my neighborhood were Pidgeys from Pokemon. But greater than all those and more relevant to this video, I picked up a skateboard and learned to ride after playing hours and hours of Tony Hawk games. And right now I grew up my hair to skater boy levels and no, it's not because I'm asthmatic and I'm still afraid to go outside and get a haircut because that would be reasonable. But who's I? I? I'm Wade Ronspies, the mastermind behind the YouTube channel Ron's Pies, and mastermind might be putting it a little highly. And you, you're watching All In on GameStop TV. And also I, I love Tony Hawk, and I love the man himself, he's a legend amongst extreme sports, but I'm talking specifically about his games. Admittedly, I didn't start my journey with the Tony Hawk games until they started coming to the PS2. Pro Skater 4, Underground, that's why I really laid the foundation for what inevitably became a bustling and successful professional skating career. In career mode, specifically. I got sponsored, no big deal, Tony Hawk knows my name, we're on a first name basis. Is Tony, call me, he's got me on speed dial. Kids, ask your parents what speed dial is. Considering the Tony Hawk games had enough of an impact on me to inspire me to scrape my knees all over my local skate park, you can imagine my excitement when I heard about the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 remake. The first two games smashed together into one big game with a ton of the original licensed music included alongside a bunch of new stuff and enhanced graphics. But before we drop into that half pipe, how did the Tony Hawk games get their start? When did they go from pro-am to just pro? Let's set the scene a little bit. It's the 90s. Blink-182 is a constant in your CD player. The Game Boy is your best friend, and extreme sports are huge. The X Games have taken hold of America, and names like Travis Pastrana and Tony Hawk are tearing it up in motocross and skateboarding, respectively. This 90s fascination with extreme sports was also reflected in the video games of the era. You had snowboarding games, jet skiing games, BMX games, Games, and of course, skateboarding games. And shout out to Cool Borders and Wave Race 64, those games are sick. Activision saw this growing trend and decided they wanted a piece of that pie too. And to make their mark, they went to the biggest name in skateboarding history even today, Mr. Tony Hawk, the Birdman himself. Tony Hawk was one of my idols growing up. He was always used in the same breath as Michael Jordan, Sammy Sosa, and the other very real person that is Crash Bandicoot. If you wanted any skater in the world to represent your game and give it the publicity and mass appeal it needed, Tony Hawk was your guy. And originally, Pro Skater was going to be a skateboarding racing game, but after Neversoft started tweaking it and making a realistic trick system, they decided that's where their focus should go. Neversoft, the studio that made the original games, had a half pipe built, and a lot of the employees at the studio actually learned how to skate and really learned the skater culture Bro. They used motion capture for, again, realistic animation in the skaters, and best of all, they licensed a huge chunk of, for the time, contemporary hip-hop and rock music tracks instead of making their own original soundtrack for the game. But a great soundtrack doesn't mean a thing if there isn't a great game attached, and lucky for us, Pro Skater was revolutionary when it came out in 1999. It was one of the first skateboarding games that gave players full control over their own personal skateboarding sesh, complete with all the tricks they could possibly want to do. Do a kickflip! Oh, no problem, it's just a left and square. Easy. Future games would iterate and expand on the foundation set by the first Pro Skater games, with Pro Skater 4 taking a more open world approach, and then Underground actually letting you get off your skateboard and also drive cars for some reason. The games have taken some pretty wacky directions over the years, so I actually think it's a genius idea that they're going back to the original games to kind of simplify things, and I legitimately cannot wait for this remake. I've been playing the demo every single day since it came out. And while sadly Neversoft is no longer with us, the people are fine. It's just studios closed down. The team behind the Pro Skater 1 and 2 remake is Vicarious Visions, a team you may recognize as the people behind the recent Crash Bandicoot remakes, the Insane Trilogy. But did you know that Vicarious Visions was actually the team put in charge of porting almost every single Pro Skater game to portable systems from the Game Boy Color to the PSP? They've been with the series since the beginning, so who better to handle a remake of the original games? I can't think of anyone more qualified. And what I'm really looking forward to with this remake is seeing all of these classic classic levels redone with the fancy graphics and the 4K and HDR, warehouse, the school, the 
hangar. I love the hangar is probably my favorite level. I can't wait to master those levels or maybe I should say remaster those levels again. This isn't a remake just dedicated to the diehard fans of the series that have been there from the beginning. This is pretty much a new entry in the Tony Hawk series. Plus, it's not even full price. It's just 40 bucks. You love to see it. This game was a huge influence on not just me, but people all over the world. And I really hope it can find new life with a new wave of fans and maybe even inspire some people to pick up a skateboard for the first time. Who knows, maybe I'll even try to find my old skateboard and try to learn how to do an ollie again. Actually, you know what? Yeah, maybe that skateboard should stay buried. Also, all I'm saying is that if this game does well, we could very well see a remake of Pro Skater 3 and 4. So if you want those, you know what to do. Anyway, that's it from me. If you want to keep tabs on what I'm up to, you can follow me on Twitter at WadeLikesPi or subscribe to my YouTube channel called Ron's Pies. I also want to give a quick shout out to the podcast I'm working on called Random Access Memories. You can find it on pretty much every single podcast service. It's a gaming history podcast. We just finished a four part series on Halo. So if you like gaming history, check that out. And with that, take care and cowabunga.